Digital Innovator of the Year goes to Stephen Sadler from East Barnet School. East Barnet Secondary in North London is a busy, bustling school which offers plenty of opportunities for its pupils. Here, science, technology, engineering and maths, also known as STEM subjects, have really sparked imaginations. And that's thanks to the school's leader of the virtual environment, Stephen Sadler. Never. Get used to it. <laughs> he has such little time, but he manages to give everyone time all the time. Steve is driven by his love of the kids at his Barnet. He's not just an ordinary teacher. I've never met such an inspirational and motivational teacher like him. So flat is boring. I like to think I bring a lot of excitement, a diverse way of, of teaching, a lot of energy as well, because you, you have to have a lot of energy when you're engaging in cutting edge projects like robotics or drone technology. So you need, so you need to modify it. The school runs over 80 lunchtime and after school clubs, but the busiest of all are Mr. Sadler's drone and robotics clubs. The clubs is something that he's taken on under his own steam. So it started off with robotics. I think Steve was the person that did the research and said, this is something we need to get into. This is the future. I was keen to draw a lot more girls into STEM and in particular robotics because most of the students participating were boys. So as a result, um, I formed the first all-girls robotics team within the UK. Yeah. I was asked to change the different colours. Since the club's inception, competing nationally and internationally in robotics competitions has become second nature, a testament to Mr Sadler's ambition for his pupils. When we started, he had no limits in his head of where we could go with it, which is, I don't think he has for any of his no. students. I think the club is, is popular because of the competition element. You know, they're not just in the classroom doing something, they're taking what they're designing and making and actually using it to compete at a national level. The sailor's office at uh, lunchtime or a break time is it's like Greg's at eight o'clock in the morning. It's just packed all the time because people want to be around him, people want to learn off him. It's testament to, to Mr Sadler that we have st students regularly coming back to visit to talk to him because he's had such a positive impact on their lives. Mr Sadler is a really good sounding board so whenever I have a question or issue at university he's always the first person I try and contact just to get advice from. I've got one student, he's a, a mechatronics lecturer now who started out doing robotics when he was year eight so to see them overtake you is, is, a, is a nice feeling actually I, I like that because you, you know you've done your job well. They say uh, when you're not sure about technology or gadgets, ask a 12-year-old. You're a little bit older than that, but you managed to stay ahead of the game. Yeah. How do you do it? Just keeping pace of innovation and trying to bring exciting stuff to the classroom to make the kids, you know, get, get them engaged. I think it's just about giving them the best opportunities as possible. Our subject is just constantly changing. If you're not innovating, then you're going to get left behind. Stephen Sadler, you are the Digital Innovator of the Year. Thank you very much. Well done. Thank and you. thank you, Trevor. Thank you. Thank you very much.